Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be doing a walkthrough of a Vipassana center. I am sharing this video for those who are considering to attend a Vipassana course and are wanting to learn more about the facilities offered. Vipassana is taught across various centers around the world and though you might be visiting a different center, hopefully this walkthrough can provide a good guide on what to expect during your visit. The centre I visited is called Dhamma Sukhakari, based in the south of UK, about two hours drive from London. As you arrive at the centre, you will be required to go to the reception area where you will get your student registration forms. You will then be directed to the dining area. Which is split into two, where males and females are seated separately. Throughout the course, the separation is maintained. This dining area is where everyone will have their meals during the course, so on the first day, you will be seated here to fill and hand in your form to the site manager and deposit any tech items such as phones, iPads, smartwatches, etc. You will have your first light meal followed by general course rules and orientation tour of the site. During the orientation tour, you will be shown to your accommodation. The accommodations are also separated between males and females. Most room layouts are very similar. There are two to three bunk beds and storage cabinets for each guest. Pillow, duvets and blankets are provided. However, guests are requested to bring their own duvet and pillowcases. Each house has shower cubicles and WCs. These are cleaned by the volunteers quite regularly. There is also a dedicated laundry area where washing soap and drying lines are provided for those using this facility. You are then walked to the Dharma Hall. This is where you will be meditating during the course and spend majority of your time. Screens are located at the front of the hall, where discourses are shown by Goenkaji in the evenings. Males and females continue to be separated inside the meditation hall, both having their own entrances and are seated in opposite parts of the hall. There are plenty of cushions and blankets provided for everyone. You are welcome to bring your own blanket or meditation stool if you prefer. 
During breaks from meditation, we are allowed to take walks around the open green areas. There are plenty on the site and there is also a very beautiful lake near Tama Hall. I enjoyed going for walks here during our breaks as it's a good opportunity to stretch your legs and observe nature. You are required to stay within the site boundaries at all times during the course. The site boundary is highlighted with white ropes. I really liked my time at the Vipassana Centre. I appreciated the selfless service of the volunteers and the attention given by the organisers to ensure that the students had everything they needed during the course. I hope this video answers your questions and if not, please feel free to ask them in the comments below and I will try to answer the best I can. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about our personal experience of the 10-day meditation course, click to watch that video.